October 24th, 1024 19, Sarasota, Florida. In between trips, just trying to capture a little snippet of the energy. Very amped. There are no words to even begin to describe all that's happened, that I've experienced, and that I'm feeling as I am tempted to download and process and reintegrate what this 18-day trip was like for me. Fortunately, fortunately, fortunate that I have the awareness that I would overwhelm myself if I were to allow myself to fully do that, which I'm dying to do. But in order to go through that process, I need time and I need space. Specifically, a safe space where I can just be exactly who I am, where I am in that moment and just feel what I'm feeling. That so far for me has only really created in this beautiful, most perfect way thus far, it's only been created in my own home. And only when I'm here in my own home with just myself and my living cats, my two li the, the two living beings that are in these cats. Other than that, to some degree or other, I don't want to say I have a mask on, but I am playing an agreed upon role. And in many cases, I'm only agreeing to play these roles because I'm getting paid. If I wasn't getting paid, if I didn't feel like I had to make that money to pay for my existence in this dimension, in this character, in a lot of cases I wouldn't be agreeing to play those roles. And if I had a chance to renegotiate those roles openly and honestly with the other party, I would. And in no small way, that is exactly what I'm doing right now. Right now, I'm doing it with myself because it's brand new. I've never stood up as Allison with clear desires. I, I never believed I was allowed to have my own desires and my own opinions and my own voice and without taking into consideration everybody else the same as me. Like I, and actually I put myself below what mattered to the collective. It's not that that's necessarily a bad thing, but you have to know how to take care of yourself. And that's been perhaps the greatest of my lessons in this ex existence and what I continue to be tested with, if you will, as I grow and expand to learn what that means to care for myself as this being so that I can be to others what my soul intended to be in this existence. I am going to renegotiate with Iron Man in a way that I've not negotiated yet in five years. I risk nothing. Really, there's nothing that I'm risking by just being a little bit more detailed and a little bit more willing to take the chance of sharing what I actually desire. And from my perspective, what I think I can bring to, from my perspective, what I'm hearing, the words of what their company wants, desires, intends to be with their events, the money they want to make. Like, let me try to tell you how I can best serve that and also tell you what I like to get in exchange for that. Like basically to sit with a grown up and not be felt like you're a child being told this is the deal you either accept it and be grateful for it or not. Like it, it really is in general this maturing of energy. And one of my early influences in my, in my physical, this life, powerful female Sadie, her voice comes into my head, Seattle is where I met Sadie. Let adults be adults. I would love to sit at the table and be able to just be real with the other side of the, the agreement. And in this case, Iron Man 
yeah, it's the company, but what we seem to, we as the individuals all make up the company to varying degrees of how we represent it. As long as I accept a paycheck from World Triathlon Corporation, which is Ironman, I have a responsibility to part of what the image is. I might not have a big responsibility, but I have a responsibility. But that responsibility never trumps being me. Like, like I'm not going to trump and, and compromise my integrity and my authenticity, you know, authenticity. If my integrity and authenticity become something I have to sacrifice in order to serve in any role, well, you better believe I'm going to do everything in my power to get myself out of that sort of role as soon as possible. And our world makes it a little challenging because so much is tied to the dollar. And my world's been made a little bit clearer because the circumstances have made it where, and I do believe this is a gift, where I don't have, you know, these, these, I don't have a retirement fund, I don't have a pile of say, I've had, you know, for, for a good number of years I had very, this was all I had in my, like, available to me as a resource, money. Like, that makes things, the picture, a little bit clearer, more real when you don't have these sort of illusions of, well, I'm going off on too many tangents. I gotta end this. I gotta end this. I'm off to Austin, uh, sorry, Waco, Texas. I'm in the VIP role. Um, and then I go to PCB where I'm this assist for the expo. I'll be back almost for good. I mean, again, for good. I just, when I get back after this trip, things are really gonna shift into a different place. And um, I'm really excited, anxious about it, and I'm working to make that anxiety more excitement because it's become clear that I have no reason to feel anything but joyful, grateful, appreciative, and super excited about what lies ahead for me in multiple areas of my life, but I think specifically within the world of Iron Man. I can't tell you what it's going to look like yet, but I can tell you and share what I hope it looks like. And um, for now, I'm keeping that, those details to myself. But there are people out there that have heard bits and pieces, and um, it's going to be a fun, 2020 is going to be a fun year. Have a good day.